In this video, we'll go just a little bit more into the process of determining what exactly the customer need is. I want to think about when you, you're thinking through what the customer need is, is first of all, think of it in the context of a problem. We focus a lot on this in an entrepreneurial environment. Customers, whether they're business or consumers, they're living their lives and they run into roadblocks or things that aren't exactly the way they would want them. These are customer problems. Businesses form around solving customer problems. So you want to be visualizing your invention, your idea, your business model, your service in the context of the problem that you're solving, the, the, what consumers or businesses are addressing that you could make work better or easier for them. And that is a customer problem. That is a customer need. That's the step one. What is the customer need? The challenge, of course, is solving it. Not saying there's a need out there and quote, I'm going to solve it with my business, but rather saying I have a solution. And then you describe specifically what that solution is. You describe the problem customers have or businesses, whoever they are, consumers, why they're not as happy as they could be, as productive as they can be. Then you say, this is what I am going to do, A, B, C, D, E. And this is why these A, B, C, D, E, when they're done, make that customer's problem go away. So you have to actually describe exactly how the solution works. Two steps, customer need, how will that solution actually work? Then you look at the economics. Solving the problem for the customer creates some sort of value for them which they should be willing to pay for. How much will they pay? That's your revenue, your price. And you want to maximize how much that is. You don't give, you don't say I have a better product. I'm going to sell it cheaper. What you want to do is create value that they're willing to pay more for, right? Because you're trying to make something better for them, solving a problem for them. And they are willing to pay for that. And you want to exact that full value. Then you figure out your problem, A, B, C, D, E. What is A cost, B cost, C cost, D cost? What does it all cost together? And based upon that, I can deliver the solution to that problem for X amount of dollars. And as long as Y, which is the price, is higher than X by enough, you create a positive margin. And that positive margin supports the business. And actually, it becomes self-sustaining like an organism. It's gobbling up all that extra value and growing and growing and growing and getting stronger. Once that's all done, solution, uh, problem, need, solution, economics, you look at what competitors are doing and see what you can learn from the competitive offerings. They may be offering things that you're not offering, uh, features and functions. And maybe you think the customers don't really care about those and aren't willing to pay for them. So you're offering something that has different attributes that you're, you can make. And this is called opening new market space, which we talked about in a prior uh, article, a prior um, uh, discussion on a video. Uh, by that article by uh, Kim and McBoyne from Harvard Business Review. And they talk about how you create new market space by identifying what other competitors are doing and realizing that they're not actually matching the value of what the customers want. And if you could find a better match with your solution to what the customer needs are, then you have a niche there that you can defend. So the next thing you do is you go and you look at and identify what customers are offering. And that becomes, or what competitors are offering, and that becomes the basis for how you design the specific niche for your solution. In the next discussion, we'll talk about segmenting the markets and we'll start getting a little bit more into the traditional marketing discussions that you might have learned about in marketing classes and talk about first segmentation and then some other items. But we'll talk about that when we pick up in our next video. So we'll talk to you then.